I had a rare treat the other morning as a large group of white pelicans decided to visit the ponds where I live at Cypress Cove in Fort Myers, Florida. What a treat! They travel in large groups, called squadrons, high in the air, usually in a V formation. They are a distinctive white with black wingtips. The bill, legs, and toes are reddish orange or pink. A beautiful bird. White pelicans feed differently than brown pelicans. They don't do that plunge dive thing. Instead, they simply float along the surface, submerging their heads, scooping up fish along the way. As you can see in this video, it's not uncommon to see coumarants mixed in with the white pelicans. Coumarants dive deeper than the pelicans, so they buddy up and help each other out. With a wingspan up to nine and a half feet, the white pelican is North America's second largest bird. They typically weigh between 15 and 20 pounds, eclipsing that of a great white heron, which weighs half that amount. I guess it takes a lot more muscle to fly the distance traveled by a white pelican. Unlike the brown pelican that we Floridians see every day, the white pelican is solely a wintertime visitor. They are the true snowbirds, spending their summers in Canada and winters in Mexico, making visits along the way. What about all that splashing? Although it looks like they're just having fun, more likely it's to clean their feathers. Birds can only survive in the wild if they can fly, and pelicans carry fleas and other parasites, but a vigorous banging of the wings on the water gets rid of most of those. If you ever have fleas, give it a try.
And then before you know it, with plenty of daylight remaining, they're off into the wild blue yonder to continue their voyage. 